Hello and welcome. Today we got something up this morning. So sit down, take a ride around, and enjoy. Now that's a cool toy. Hello and welcome to a quick review here, a quick toy review, a toy review yeah, for you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, quick toy review here. It's almost been seven years, seven years ago, when I first appeared on YouTube, and because people are always asking the question. I heard this, a lot of people would ask me, they would ask online in message boards and stuff like this, they would say, who's Venom? Because the Spider-Man movie was coming, Spider-Man 3, and everybody wanted to know who Venom was. And I got so tired of explaining it that I thought, you know what, this, this YouTube venue might give me a way to uh, show people who, uh, who Venom is. And then I pulled out the Amazing Spider-Man 300, I pulled out a whole bunch of other comics, I sat down at my kitchen table, yes, almost seven years ago, and flashed the comics in front of you and explained the story of Venom. Fast forward seven years later and woo! Wow! My has the world changed. But what hasn't changed is my love for Venom. And so, it brings me to this video. Over the years, we've gotten Venom figure after Venom figure, and some of them are bad, some of them are okay, but, you know, they're never exactly what you want, what you want in a Venom, you know? And then finally, the good people who brought us the ultimate Venom, Marvel Select, bring us a Venom figure that might be the be-all, end-all to Venom figures. And, reliving the nostalgia of Venom, I bring to you a review of the new Marvel Select Venom figure. With a shitload of alternate heads to make you relive your favorite Venom moment. Your favorite moment! You can relive it! So, sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. So we're just going to start by looking at the package here really quickly because I want to get in there and open this guy up. If you're looking at him here, you can easily see he comes with a whole bunch of alternate heads, alternate fists, alternate, alternate <laughs> not an alternate tongue, but a tongue. Packaging here, not too fussy about this art here. Um, from the Venom comics of today, but whatever. And then in the back here, a picture of the newer Venom comic, which, you know, they could have, I don't know, they could have kept that old school, maybe put an amazing picture of Amazing 300 on there, you know, something like this, maybe on there, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's Venom, with a few of the heads to show how it works. So, we're going to open this guy up, and, um, uh, see what we get all right so here we have venom this is the way he comes in the package with all the uh, the multitude of extra heads here and he's got like McFarlane's face here which is a uh, pretty cool already with the claws and the movable arms in the back here. So everything is interchangeable. The hands, the faces, everything. So you can get your Venom from any era, which is really neat. So this is from uh, the Madness. So if you take off his, uh, his extra heads here and his extra arms, you're left with a almost McFarlane Venom here. Almost. I say that because 
the claws weren't, he sometimes had just normal hands, right, with the teeth. Um, the figure has a lot of articulation, as you can see. Which is odd, because Marvel Selects were never really known for their articulation at one point. They were more statuesque. But now they've actually gone to, uh, which, which, which I love, a more displayable, displayable way of making the figures. So an example here, if you take the hands off, pull it off, we could have the fists here. We can put these in. Whoops. There. See? Fist. Looks a lot more like his first appearance. So, if we turn that joint up like this, There. Fist pumping. <laughs> so I can take off this claw here too. Interchange it with the fist hair. There. And there you'd have Venom with his fists. He does have a pretty good range of motion. Although the Marvel Selects don't have as much motion, range of motion as the, uh, just a little statuey. They're not like the Marvel Legends, but still pretty cool. So let's see, you're like, hey, you know what? I don't want to see McFarlane Venom. I'm not interested in McFarlane. I'll just pull off his head. There you go. No more McFarlane. And you could be like, you know what? I kind of want to see a transforming Venom. I want to see something like Eric Larson would have would have drawn. So we just plug in his head here. And there you have like a semi-transforming Venom. Which is pretty cool. Which is definitely Eric Larson. Let's say you're like, you know what, I don't want, I just want the normal Venom face out. Oh, pop goes the head. Just normal tongue and everything, tongue and ooze. You're a news and tongue kind of guy. A person. You put on that one there. You get more of a traditional, or as we know Venom today. I prefer the McFarlane one myself, but just, just because it's classic. So, interchange the arms around. Put back the other hands in, if you want. Make him look more like the Venom of the 90s. Find his other hand. There we go. Put his other hand in here. And there you have it. So I mean this guy has a, a wide range of uh, different poses and different ways that you can uh, get him dressed. So it's very cool. Never has have we seen this before on a Venom figure? We've seen it before in the DC figures, the um, the Green Lantern figures that came out for uh, DC Universe, but we've never seen them on the uh, on the Marvel figures. You get some pretty interesting, interesting looking fellas here. Very cool. A little something though that proof that the figure. The old saying that the figure of the packaging, the packaging figure may vary. If you look at Venom here on the back of the packaging, I'm sorry I tore it up a bit here, but you'll notice that okay, that's kind of like the McFarlane, you know, just normal square teeth, which she has. They're a little whiter though here, a little more pearly white than here, but you know, still not bad. We have the uh, definitely. The Eric Larson look here, which we have the head here, oh. which we have here, which is fuck which is definitely fucking cool. On here we have Venom with the tongue, right there, which is again kind of like you know '90s Venom. Eric Larson Venom, so here he is here. 
But one thing that I found kind of odd looking at the package is that the venom with the madness here. Look at his mouth. The only other head that you have, except if you were to, I guess, what you could do, it's just not really super, super accurate because you can take this guy here and take out the tongue because the tongue's removable. See? And it'll kind of look like that. Kind of. But the problem is here, there's no green spit on his face. And here there is green spit on his face because it matches this guy. So it's almost as if they said, you know what? Um, we're not going to make this head. <laughs> we're just going to let the, the guys use the other heads. And uh, yeah, I don't know if it's planned that way or not, but... That head definitely looks different because even the fangs, the fangs look like vampire fangs right there. And there's no such thing as those kinds of fangs on any of the other heads. So there's definitely a discrepancy. Oh, not a big deal. The madness heads here. All the heads swivel around. See, so you can move the heads around any way you want to. You know, if you want one of them, you know, because somebody's got to watch Venom's back. So these guys can watch Venom's back. Well, these guys help them out in the front. <laughs> Even the hands here on the arms here are interchangeable. You can take these off. And you can use, you could use like the old Venom fists. Although it would look kind of weird because there's definitely a difference in size. But it still works nonetheless. So it's kind of neat, as everything is interchangeable. I like the idea. Alright, so I'm just going to take this Venom here. This is kind of like mcferlin I guess. The normal hands are too, but this would kind of be mcferlin mcferlin that's even a word. Kind of like in this era here, where we have Venom with the teeth and he's got the claws starting, you know. So, yeah, we'll go with this guy. So, that concludes my review of the new Venom toy from Marvel Selects. This guy, as I said, looks awesome. Um, a lot better than any other stuff that we got before, in my opinion. Look at that. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! So yeah, definitely a lot cooler than him. Well, the ultimate Venom was kind of neat too, so. Aw, oh, dear friends. I love you. So, until next time, guys. Take care. Later.